my kitten is trying to kill himself. So today, today I caught him choking on this old crusket that was in a rubbish bin. He was, he was like going, <laughs> he was choking, he was choking on this. No, we don't eat these. These are bad. I also, a few days ago, uh, had to stick my finger straight into his mouth, wrench it open, and pull out a bean bag bean. Like, those little styrofoam. Ow! He's trying to kill me too. I had to pull out one of those little styrofoam balls. He was like chewing on them. And I was really scared he was going to poison himself with it. Aries is into everything. 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 I don't know if you can see this. That's just the costs of owning a spawn of Satan. He's a menace. Who's a menace? You're a menace. You are the menace. He's worth it. About a month ago, I was gifted a bouquet of lilies. So I didn't know this, but lilies are poison for your cat. If you want a dead cat, get lilies. So uh, I found this little munchkin with his, like, I don't know if you can see, he wants my necklace. His little fluffy white nose was covered in like yellow orange stain and I was like okay so what what have you been into this time what is it so I went around the whole ra whole house like trying to find out if he'd gotten in into any paint or anything um that could create that color and then I came across lily stamens that had fallen on my floor from some lilies that were in a vase and I thought they were harmless, but I had a bad feeling about it as soon as I saw the yellow stain. So I was like, Google, what does Google say about lilies and cats? Lilies equals death for cats. Google says that lilies kill cats. And so I was like, okay, um, I'm going to call my vet. So I called up my vet right away. And I was like, so Google says that uh, lily stamen is going to kill my kitten. And the vet was like, Google's not wrong this time and I'm like okay okay so he's like yeah you should bring him to the vet right away so that's what I did he was within the vet at the vet within half an hour of rubbing his face in lily stamens possibly ingesting them don't know um, but turns out that the stamen is the worst part but the leaves the petals the stalks everything about a lily if it comes in contact with your cat with the fur the whiskers or worse gets ingested can send your cat into renal failure in like 24 to 48 hours so i was like yeah i don't really want that um that's quite bad um i've seen it in a cat before and i have a friend who has a deaf cat who also has kidney failure um and like it, in small amounts it can be managed but it, it's gonna kill your cat so um whether that happens quickly or slowly depends on how well you deal with it um but so like you know i was uh, over a stupid thing that i did not know i was like come on gabby you work with animals how did you not know this um but i i didn't know i didn't know that lilies were poison for cats and a lot of other people don't know either so just putting this out there if you have cats don't have lilies in your house or garden just just ban those demon flowers man like yeah, i'm never having them in my house again but um yeah they are poison for your cats lilies are poison for your cats that is a thing and if you're if you don't get to it in time but you get to it sort of just in time and your cat survives and like you know worst case in my opinion probably it's better if your cat actually dies than if it survives if it's you know going badly um, because you know the worst case is 
probably that your cat survives and has permanent damage to the renal system and the kidneys um, and then has to live with that and, and you have to do ongoing treatment and ongoing costs and just it's, it's a nightmare for your cat, it's a nightmare for you, it's just that would suck. Luckily I got Aries to the vet very very soon after he had contact with the Lily Stamens. Um, we um, injected him with something to make him vomit pretty much right away. Um, he went on an IV drip and he stayed there for two days. Um, so if you're wondering how much it costs to have a two-day observation stay at the vet on IV fluids, well apparently it depends on how many cables your kitten destroys while he's there. Let's go through Aries' bill. Okay, by the way, I haven't finished paying this. Normally they don't give you a payment plan, but I'm lucky enough to have a payment plan. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking about pet insurance. Normally I keep a few hundred dollars in an account for my cats. I put away money every week and I just keep adding to that just in case um, because vet bills do come up. If you think that, you know, you, the $200 or whatever it costs to get your kitten from the SPCA or whatever rescue network you're using, that covers your microchipping, that covers your de-sexing, that covers your vaccinations and any food or care the cat has had up to that point. Um, if you think that's going to be the end of it, you're wrong. Um, whether that just means food costs, having proper nutrition, your litter box costs, your toy costs, your repairs to your house costs because even well-trained cats are going to... Um, find something to destroy um, so let's see this is Aries Bill okay okay so the first day he had a uh, it was after hours because it was 4 p.m. on a Sunday so apparently that's after hours so that cost a little bit extra so uh, dropping him off to the vet uh, I think it was like $148.20 New Zealand uh, then he had the Zolatil injection, which is what makes him vomit. Um, that was $12. Um, he had a mild anesthesia. Uh, that was $13.40. And he also had a catheter IV for $6.50. So that's a total of $180.10 to start with. Okay, so I was like, yep, that, that's fine. That I'm totally prepared to spend that amount of money on my cats pretty much any day of the week. Um, but then he had like a, an after hours like return to clinic and reestablish IV, um, including consultation fees, $148.20. He had apomorphine hydrochloride tablets, $31.70. Uh, the IV fluid was free. How uh, generous. Uh, the intravenous injection fee was $21.40. Uh, the micro pore tape, 80 cents. Uh, the second catheter, six dollars and fifty cents. They charge us for every single catheter that he pulled out. I don't know if you can see him looking really innocent right now, but he just kept barrel rolling in his catheters and just in his IV cords and just, just six dollars fifty every single time. Uh, Hartman's Remedy Intravenous Fluids, $23.80. Giving Set, 20 drops, $12.80. Extension Set, 100 centimeters. I don't really know what that is, but I'm guessing it to do it with his catheter, $11. Bandage Soft Band, $3.50. Bandage V-Trap, $3.10. IV pump fee, $15. Anesthesia, which obviously wasn't working that well seeing as he kept having enough energy to play with his catheters, $14. Uh, after hours procedure charges, $60. So, so far we were up to $350. Oh, well, no, just that, just for that stuff there was, was $351.80. Then the next day there was a hospitalization Per day fee, $57.50. Extension set, $11. Giving set, $12.80. Uh, 
uh, and, and then the next day there was a hospitalization per day fee, 5750 and a giving set, 20 drops, $12.80. So we come to a grand total of $683.50 in New Zealand for like two days at the vet because he rubbed his face in Lily stamens. You know, he may do this to me, but I don't want him to be dead. And I also wish I had $683 to spend on nice things for him instead of making sure he doesn't die. He's out to get himself too because, because so many times since he's been back, he's been putting things in his mouth and I'm like, you're not going back to the damn vet until the last vet bill is paid. I'm still like one week away from like finishing paying that off. Anyway, don't keep lilies in your house if you have cats. Please just don't do it. It's just not worth it. It's it's a pain in the bum or, you know, a dead cat. Um, nobody really likes cats as much when they're dead. I kind of like my cats to be alive. So, um, yeah, that's my story of how I found out that lilies are poisonous for my cats. And now this is your story about how you found out that lilies are also poisonous for your cats. Anyway, thank you for listening to me rambling about my talented kitten. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Bye for now.